So one of my subscribers commented that the perturbations from the moon should also affect the sun in some way. And if you look at the rotational velocity, what we perceive as the rotational velocity of the sun, it rotates suspiciously similar to the to the rotations of the of the moon. But there's this strange effect that on the poles it seems to rotate at a different velocity than it rotates on the on the equator of the sun. And if you think about what I'm saying about the nature of the sun representing the perturbations of the or the movement of the hydrogen frequency uh, uh, on the earth and you take the consider if you consider what a year is with respect to the sun in the disposition of that movement you have this 23 and a half degree tilt on the earth and so the the relationship between these waves through that time changes over the course of the year and that's the reason the sun appears to rotate at different velocities. And this, <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't know how many, how many Nobel Prizes is that now? Um, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I just want this out there. <laughs> I just want people to take heed of this because I think it's important, very important. Um, but so that's, that's, that, that's that riddle. That's uh, that's incredible, incredible uh, information. And so, what is the moon? You have to ask that question. What is that moon, really? Um, and if you want to understand, okay, you've got this, you've got this uh, uh, incoming sun grazing comet. It it tracks that same rotation of the Earth around the sun. It's that relativity that I was referring to before. It's all relative to you because you're watching it and you're being translated through time across this axis. And therefore, what creates this axis is all of these rays that come in from other places. You've got the sun is being the, the, the what creates the Earth in, in astrotometry is this is this ray, and everything is moving technically up. It's technically up and back, up and back, up and back through hypertime. But it's only the up part of it that matters because the rate wave is in a sense rectified. And so you've got this, you've got this gravity time relationship that I was referring to before. Gravity and time are synonymous. They're two axes of the same of the same thing. And you've got this, you've got this relationship between the sun and the earth that relates to this larger supersymmetric structure. The sun is, is, is experiencing the same thing from the other stars, or itself through time space, whichever way you want to look at it. And so you've got this, you've got this relationship where you've got these rays that are coming in from every place else that folds over the time space that, that is the sun also. And so when, when a sun grazing comet comes in, it's, it's coming in to, at a particular direction. And the reason it tracks the same point on the sun is because relative to us, the energy that creates both the common carrier of the sun and the earth is disturbed by the same ray. And so that's the reason. And the geometry is there. The geometry is there. We need a new way to describe it. And I'm probably going to propose a system based on the geometry of the triangle and the circle, because the if you look at the if you look at the things that I'm proposing about the nature, this is ancient. This is ancient, and the the photon the nature of the photon is more the nature of a circle. It it has an orbit, so it's all about orbits and angles with respect to the orbits, and so I don't know if I don't know if I'm actually going to do a math on this. To try to replace the to try to replace the scalar linear math that we are we are using. See the problem with our our common our current mathematics is that it's linear. We we consider we consider the number line as being this linear thing, and as everything in our world seems to have this concept of a particle, 
it makes more sense if we're going to describe it practically to use another system. And so, um, yeah, I guess mathematics is next. But like I said, I'm not a teacher. I'm a way shower. I can show the way. But I'm not, inter I'm not really interested in teaching this. And what you're going to find out about me is I have a lot of other stuff to do. This is important. This is significant. But I've got other things that I need to be doing that um, I can't really explain because I don't think that people would believe it. And so they question. <clears throat> and um, that usually causes trouble because they end up finding out that I understand something about the nature of reality that they haven't considered. <laughs>